ओके ओके ओ बॉय वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट एट मिनट ऑफ गेम प्ले ऑफ एसी मिराज हैव बीन रिवील्ड ऑन ट्वेल्व अक्टूबर यू बी फॉरवर्ड इवेंट बाय लुकिंग एट गेम प्ले आई एम अमेज देर वर मेनी गुड स्टफ एंड न्यू इम्प्रूव मैकेनिक्स फ्रॉम वालहाला Devs have really worked very hard on improving the mechanics like good parkour world blending with crowds originally like old AC games better lighting notoriety system flowers and palm trees stick to wall lovely scaffolding objects to get out tight situations assassin tools are also there like in old AC game old optional objectives are back it was also in Valhalla but it was a DLC thing We will also talk about the new setting on Assassin Rush. This game totally gives mix of Revelation AC1 vibes including with with Origins and Valhalla animation. There is AC Bureau like AC1 or it was also in Origins but it was an in game thing. There were so many opinions are revolving around the communities so I need to clear my chest off by replying and reacting on those opinions. I am not good expressing my thought otherwise I would have 10 voices in my hand. I will try my best. Some of the people stating that sprinting is very slow it, it isn't that fast it needs to be improved Basim is actually not sprinting he is jogging sprinting is this one don't be confused between sprinting and jogging and, and assume jogging speed is considered as sprint speed I know some of them couldn't differentiate them and also if this sprint speed is slow to you then we should get unrealistic sprint speed game like flash I know it is very confusing to know if Basim is sprinting or jogging even in Valhalla we couldn't understand Eivor was sprinting or jogging the main problem was in this setting that they have not given us hold to sprint option which is the main issue we should get either hold to sprint or always sprint option like in AC Origins if you ask me why it is so important because sprinting affects on parkouring objects we can clearly see in gameplay that the parkour is slow it needs to be increase their speed this is very slow it was a showcase they made it look slow and also basim was jogging state so while jogging the parkour will be slower and in sprinting mode the parkour will be faster you can take valhalla or odyssey they both have sprinting and jogging animation in jogging state the parkour is slower compared to the sprint one which you can clearly see on screen also i can confirm this it is the same case from basim gameplay look when basim is going to climb one object basim is not in sprint state it is in jogging state That's why the parkour looks slow and also after completing the parkour sequence you can clearly see Basim is not in sprint state so i think parkour is faster but they chose to show us in slower parkour movement check again valhalla jogging versus sprint i know at this point you all have agreed that okay i made a good point but there is also an issue with this jogging that they introduce in valhalla and odyssey because you will start parkour in sprint mode and you maintain the speed but in mid way the sprint mode changes to jogging state i don't know about odyssey but in valhalla we don't have hold to sprint option so sometimes i couldn't differentiate am i in sprint or jogging state ultimately ruins the parkour speed so this is why i want ac origins always sprint or walk only feature always sprint have allowed bayak to move fast during parkour and parkour look faster compared to valhalla and i think because of always sprint bayak can do backward swing animation like unity but in valhalla because of sprint mode is too gal not always sprint he can't do backward animation so i request everyone to share this video to spread this message ubisoft should give us always sprint mode like in ac origins this will not only increase the speed of parkour but it will allow us to do proper wall ejection like ac origins that it is all about parkour speed and <laughs> assassin rush the most new setting which old ac are loving it i know i know you all love that immersive killer <laughs> some of them like assassin rush it shows the agility and the speed of basim to target max 5 enemies because there is only 5 bar and to refill one bar you need to assassinate three guys so i calculated you need nine enemies to refill three bar to assassinate three guys for five guys you need to assassinate 15 targets that's a lot of target if you ask me so this skill isn't you easily spammable or blindly charge at it this is good balance for this overpower skill so those who aren't happy about this skill and requesting to bring back batman fear type of multi kill i don't think it will going to happen maybe on ac raid i personally don't think it is the bad after all basim is reincarnation of loki so it is reasonable and as immersive perspective okay it is not good but it is what it is
I don't know why I am not offended by Assassin Rush and I also like it. Not just you can easily spam it, it will be very difficult to recharge it. The one reason came to my ear that it ruins immersive and they should scrap this idea. I will recommend you don't use this skill in your gameplay. It won't ruin your ex not going in depth of AC Origins remake or reuse same asset. Maybe on another video. Assassinating as in animation is fast, NPCs reaction are better and faster. They work fast too. I don't like Basim crouching assassination. In Valhalla and Syndicate, they assassinate their target without changing their stance. Eivor pull enemy to the ground and AV just stumble the guard to ground for assassinate. I will request to bring back Eivor or EV crouch assassin animation, not like Unity or Bayak, they change to stand position to assassinate the target. Also, I know why Basim didn't assassinate the slip target, the animation is so lame. When they assassinate the slip one, they like cut their stomach. So I request to change their animation to this confirm kill animation from Valhalla or like Unity. Or bring origin stabbing in neck animation but I prefer Valhalla because it shows aggressive. Also I found two funny issue how the enemy sword just fly few inches away from the dead body and after assassinate a guy those two weren't alerted. Fix this. And notoriety system has three levels first the swordsman, second the scout and the third will be tough boss like mercenary which is hard to fight. I was also wrong in my previous video that the marksman range of shooting the bird is actually high. He will be dangerous and needed to be taken down immediately. Those who want classic minimap, sadly we are getting this compass which I don't mind at all. Nowadays minimap considered to be killer for open world games. I don't care much because I play the games with less hurt. So you can tell me in comment why it is important to have minimap over compass. So in compass we have 5 logo. First one is for assassin bureau and orange one is for main objective. And the bag logo is for the shop. The swing logo is for an outfit shop like in origins. And the fifth one is I am not sure but I think this is notoriety poster. I think this is that. Character models are also not that appealing. I know from start that the character model won't be impressive. I kept my expectations low so no problem for me. Basim clothes physics are also improved from Valhalla. I really like the colors. We know Master Assassin robe will be red. Basim's blue color shows us he's a newbie rank. A little scarf around his neck is also bouncing with those little tails coming from the cloth. And assassin crest emblem tied to his car which is looking cute on him. I loved it and top of the hood there is also some embroidery. I don't know what it is but it is also nice. They have also added the quest board like Witcher 3 which is a good improvement. Thumbs up from me. We will obtain new token which help us to open new opportunities in the mission of Basim. Some of them tools are back like smoke bomb for avoid enemies, throwing knives for eliminating mid range targets, noise maker to distract enemies and trap to stun enemies which all can be upgraded through skill tree for example slip dart can change to berserk dart this is all i have to say for now tell me you agree with the parkour speed or you want always sprint like ac origins or you need to increase the speed even in the sprint mode assassin rush is really a big issue i don't know you tell me it doesn't affect me at all okay see ya bye tada and subscribe